Body language expert Patty Wood is with us to help break that down. All right, so uh, I want to start with you, Patty. Um, this is Mike Pence reacting to a woman uh, who has a transgender child. Take a listen. What is your policy plan to protect the transgender community, specifically black and brown trans women, from historically high levels of violence? Well, Melissa, let me say, I, I, uh, I'm deeply grieved to hear about those tragic circumstances. And, uh, and I hear your heart. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm moved by your emotion. I truly am. Thoughts? Well, good and bad. Um, at the beginning, we have that deep, resonant voice of his that uh, indicates strength and power, and there's that hint of emotional uh, matching, matching her grief. But what you missed is right after he finished saying that, he smirked. So he twisted his mouth. And what happens is if you are saying one thing but feeling another, the, your true emotional state will flash across the side of your face before the other side can control and suppress how you truly feel. So he discounted that seemingly great uh, empathetic response with a smirk. And he did that over seven times last night, which hmm. actually indicates there's a lot of things he's saying but not truly feeling. All right, fair enough. And, and look, you, the American people or, or viewers may not necessarily know why they're picking up on on a feeling of, of inauthenticity or a, a feeling of not sure about this, but you you were able to identify this. This is when we were talking about uh, his longtime marriage to Karen Pence and the, the rules and the ways in which he conducts himself. It's been well reported on. Uh, take a listen. One of the things uh, that has been said about how you conduct your personal life is you will not eat alone or, or meet alone with, with a woman. Um, one of the hallmarks of your presidency, and one of the things that was reported on a lot was your private lunches one-on-one -on -one with Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. How would that work out if you had a female vice president? Well, I, that's, a, that's a very clever question. It, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I sort of took that as he was trying to buy time. Uh, there's so many tells in this. Um, first of all, he interlocks his fingers over his private parts because it's a sexual oriented question. Then he tilts away. Then he does a suit adjustment that covers up his heart. Again, his true emotional state he wants to protect. And finally, the corner of his mouth pulled down tightly and he's actually suppressing anger. The reason I know it's anger is he tightens at the eyes and it has that crumbly bit at the chin as he responds. Uh, I, I think that's probably a pretty fair assessment based on based on a few other things that I heard last last night, maybe uh, off camera. So there there you go. I think he wasn't expecting it. Um, you know, look, people can people can be surprised in these things. It was interesting. This was the first town hall we did where people where we stood up. We had lit the stage, so he was able to stand up and move around a little bit. I was as well and be able to interact um, with with the audience. This is me asking him about Donald Trump. Take a listen. You've said this on the campaign trail. You answered a question to me about this, that there are things that there are times that principle is more important right. than than politics. You signed the pledge to get on the debate stage that you would support the eventual nominee. Mm -hmm. Does that mean you would support Donald Trump? And how is that not putting politics ahead of principle? I haven't been able to watch the tape back, obviously, because we, we flew in flew in this morning and prepped for today's show. Right. He wouldn't even look at me. It was so bizarre. And I've been watching interactions like this for 20 years for presidents and presidential hopefuls. Um, what this lack of orienting his body towards you, the host, allows him to do is we don't see his true emotional state in response to each of your questions. Instead, it allows him to go to talking points. Ah, but the body can't lie. So when you ask the question, he actually pushes you down. There's a downward sweep of way motion because you ask him a negatively oriented question. So he goes, no, and pushes you away with his body. Can't hide how he truly feels. 
Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.